Influence of late season iron, nitrogen, and seaweed extract on fall color retention of cold tolerance and cold tolerance of four Bermuda grass cultivars. This was published by Munshaw, Irvin, Shang, Askew, Zhang, and Lemus in Crop Science in 2006. Basically, the authors do the introduction by explaining that uh, Bermuda grass can, when it's going into dormancy, have issues with cold tolerance. It can have issues and changes in color, and the application of nitrogen and iron and historically has had some benefit, has resulted in some benefit. They also discuss that there is uh, potentially some benefit from the application of biostimulants such as seaweed extract as well. So they looked at those three components as well in non-treated control. They also discuss the differences between Bermuda grass cultivars. There are differences within species on cold tolerance and color retention and spring greenup and so forth. The objectives of this study were actually to determine the effects of late season nitrogen, iron, and seaweed extract applications on Bermuda grass fall, visual quality, spring greenup, lipid saturation, and proline concentration, and to determine if these treatments were associated with changes in freeze tolerance, determine, and to determine biochemical and cold tolerance differences in four Bermuda grass cultivars. It was conducted in Virginia. They used four different Bermuda grasses. They used Tifway, Mid-Iron, Princess 77, and Riviera. They applied um, the treatments were the nitrogen applications, seaweed extract, and iron. <clears throat> they applied those in the fall as it was moving into dormancy, and they measured the various turf grass uh, measurements in, uh, in the fall and in the spring coming out of uh, winter dormancy. They measured fall uh, quality and spring green up on a one to nine scale. Okay, the results were pretty much straightforward. The <clears throat> the influence of the wetting or the uh, uh, biostimulant, the seaweed extract, there was no influence for the most part at all um, when it comes to the quality. Let's see here in table two, there was no influence from the seaweed extract here. The only difference here occurred from nitrogen in September. There was an increase in um, the quality in the fall from the nitrogen application, but nowhere in here was seaweed extract actually resulting in an increase in quality. When you go down to, and it says right here, seaweed extract applications did not have any effect on Bermuda grass color retention as quality ratings were very similar to the control in both years of the study. They actually looked at regrowth after freezing and found that there was essentially no impact, no benefit to applying the seaweed extract when the in the freeze chamber when they froze it and they were trying to regrow the grass after it was frozen okay we'll keep going down here and you'll see there was occasionally a difference uh, within species or within a cultivar but uh from the post freeze regrowth there was occasionally a difference but it was only within a, a specific cultivars and it was not from the seaweed extract occasionally it was from nitrogen and occasionally there might have been one in here i think there was one in here from um actually no i don't see you know one, the only one i see is actually from nitrogen and oh here oh here it is seaweed extract so there was one one occasion where seaweed extract did result in an increase in regrowth after post-freeze so i'm sorry about that but all the other um, rating dates and all the other cultivars there was no benefit to applying seaweed extract so they measured it i don't know 10 or 15 times and one time it was a benefit and the other 14 times it was not in the current study nitrogen seaweed extract and iron linolenic acid levels were not different from the control either through either even though nitrogen increased visual qualities so what that's saying is nitrogen had an influence on visual quality um but it did not have an influence on the components inside the plant that they measured or at least the linolenic acid component this suggests that these treatments did not have an effect on Bermuda grass cold tolerance being a lipid-mediated mechanism. We're going to keep going. Proline, the influence of proline, that's what I was getting confused. So the proline, there was an increase in proline from the seaweed extract from mid-iron in fall 2001, but there really wasn't much else at all from the seaweed extract. Okay, so th there was no benefit of the seaweed extract in terms of um, freeze tolerance or fall or color retention or spring uh, green up. There was one occasion from mid-iron and fall of 2001 where there was an increase in the components inside the plant, but it didn't have a resulting a beneficial response outside the plant, something that we care about. In the present study, proline concentration was not consistent or significantly affected by iron, seaweed extract, or nitrogen. So there you go. And in the conclusions, we were unable to increase the duration of late season growth with seaweed extract. This treatment did not result in improved turf grass quality late in the growing season. There were also no consistent effects of seaweed extract on post-freeze regrowth, proline concentration, lipid, lipid unsaturation, or spring greenup. 
They didn't find much with the iron either. There was a little bit in the fall occasionally, but they didn't find much benefit from applying the iron. The key, one of the keys was this, Bermuda grass cultivars vary tremendously in terms of quality, recuperative capacity, cold tolerance. Although previous research has shown differences among these cultivars in terms of cold tolerance, little physiological explanation has been offered. These results show that cultivars that are known to be cold tolerant produce higher levels of linolenic acid and proline during fall and winter months. So the, the short and skinny of it is this, if you're looking to enhance the turf grass or Bermuda grass cultivars in Virginia by in the fall or in the spring by applying a biostimulant such as seaweed extract, there really is no evidence in this paper to support that. If you're going to spend money on uh, to enhance these parameters of turf grass, the money seems to be best spent on the genetics of the grass. In other words, the cultivar that you're choosing has a much greater impact and a consistent impact, uh, whereas the biostimulant seaweed extract did not. If you want the full version of this paper that I went over, you can see it in the card linked above. Thank you.